Good morning from Fort Kochi, Kerala. Today I'm gonna go on a tuk-tuk tour with uh, Joseph and uh, my friend Parvez over here just made me a nice mango drink. Absolutely delicious, so let's begin. Thank you, G. Thank you, and let's start our tour. We're going on a tour and it's costing about US $10 and I got three hours. So let's start the clock right now. Jello. <laughs> And uh, Joseph said he was going to let me drive the tuk-tuk later, so let's see if this is true or not. So welcome to Cochin, the wonderful city tour, okay? Okay. <laughs> so Joseph was telling me he was in a, uh, a Bollywood movie, or maybe it's called, Mo is it called Mollywood here? Because okay, Malayam? Documentary. Do okay, documentary. And uh, he said he's like the number one tuk-tuk driver in, uh, in Fort Kochi in Kerala. So. I'm very excited. I feel very lucky to have Joseph as my uh, pilot today. Uh, I have high hopes. And I specifically told him no touristy places, no commission places, and we're going to see all the local stuff. So sometimes when you get a tour, uh, some of the tuk-tuk drivers will take you into stores and that's how they earn some money. Um, so, you know, if you do take a tour, depending on what you want to see, you can talk to them about that and, uh, you know, maybe bargain a little bit, but this is uh, an outstanding price. Um, 900 rupees, about $10, three hours, and I'm, I'm very excited, and he's very persistent. We were talking for many days about this, so uh, hopefully this video is really good today. Good morning. You know, very, very famous man now coaching Jack, huh? Do you know everybody now? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful temple! And see the Kerala is a small India. In Cochin is small India. Yes. You can see that different people living in Cochin. Different taste of food. Different style of wearing, different language also. Yes. So this is really India. And, and there are 140 different languages in India? Definitely, and many people in coming to stay Kochi. Okay. Different culture, different people, different language, different taste of food and everything. Okay. So this is a really good zone country. <laughs> yes, yeah, a country within a country. Yes. Joseph's telling me that the language is different, the food is different, the culture is different, even some of the religions are different here. There's many Catholics here, Muslims, everybody living uh, amongst each other, and uh, it's uh, a country, yeah, a country within a country. The main thing, the education. In Kerala is under percent literacy. That is the most important in other part of the India. Yeah, I've, I've heard that uh, Kerala is the most uh, educated uh, state. Place, yes. yes. I am also before working in the voluntary for the National Literacy Mission Worker too. Okay. Actually, this is start from these uh, laundry places. 1720, the Dutch army was here. Uh -huh. that, that, that time, these people wanted for the washing people. Uh -huh. So these people for the washing for the Dutch army. Okay, so, so this place started in 1720? 1720, for the okay. Dutch time. For the Dutch time. And uh, remind me again, so he, Joseph was just telling me this tree came from Brazil. It's called the rain tree. Yes. And uh, Portuguese brought yeah, it? Yeah, Portuguese. Okay. Actually, for the Brazil was only for Portuguese, when Portuguese people came and go the tree. Okay, okay. And why they're called rain tree? The leaf falling like a rain. Yeah. That's the, why called a rain tree. And they're, they're massive. And um, uh, so, anyway, so we're here. This is the, is this called Dobikana? Dobikana. Okay, as you can see on the sign there, it says 1720. So let's, let's yes. walk through. You can Actually, show me. this is for the one community business, Wanna. Okay. The cast is called one Wanna. It's from Tamil Nadu in Settle in Kochi. Okay. So this is a public laundry facility, and this is where the local people come. They bring all their clothes. Also, do small businesses come and, and yeah, make yeah. the... Uh... Actually, this is only for the business, for the community business. Oh, okay. For the Wanna community. For oh. that is here. Yeah. Okay. And this is a, the, a certain caste, caste that you do yes. Okay. So this before is... India is a caste system. Yes. I caste local. This is very, very, very low caste people from Tamil Nadu. In, in Kerala, 1957, communist ministry is coming. No more caste system in India. Okay. So these people, now they're settled in Cochin. Their business for washing business. Okay. The collecting of the hotels and private house washing. 
I ain't even giving back. Okay, okay. So, so, so washing by hand. So everyone here is is a is like a business, right? Business. Okay, yes. so private private families they don't Family come. Families not come. No, okay. Only for the community working only. Okay. If, if you want the washing, you can give to them. Or morning given, evening given back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I have I have done paid laundry service in India. I've, I've started to wash my own by hand. It's uh, much cheaper. It's like you know, uh, twelve cents versus you know four dollars or something. Uh, I was in a rush the other day, but here is where your clothes end up with this nice gentleman over here and uh, doing some laundry, uh, washing first, washing and then they have all these dryers. We'll take a look at those later. So step one, obviously, is wash. And each family, each, each roll, each cabin for washing. Okay, so and see the number ways. Okay, so people each have their family, own place. Each family is working with family, you know. Each family has each cabin for washing. Okay, okay, that that's nice. Um, so I guess we'll just follow Joseph. Yeah. See, and the family also working, husband and wife and children also the family business. Family business. The traditional business. Okay. Grandfather to grandchildren mm. working over. Mm. And uh, do they have to pay like a rent? Yeah, if they're giving me for some rent for the how many hours use for the electricity uh -huh. and how many hours use for the water and everything for the rent base. Okay. Okay. And these are the hospitals. <coughs> Hospital, you can see that. Oh yeah. The bed sheet. Hospital, and this is the hotel. Uh, ocean, yes. Yes. So he's got. Uh, so this gentleman's business is he's working with some and see, hotel the and. The, uh, the drying the going for the uh, ironing. Ironing, yes, yes, yes. So yeah, so this guy's doing a local hotel. He's got the sheets. He's got the top sheets, and that's his particular business, his clients, and uh, this is where and everything gets washed. This is the art festival. <laughs> the different color. Yeah. And most important. No use for the packs. Oh, this okay. Only coconut oil. Oh, yeah. This is Cochin technology. Oh. The great technology. <laughs> and this is advantage for the easy to remove. If your rain comes, easy to remove the thing. Sure, sure. And yeah. each family, each row. Uh huh. Oh, each family, each row. Yes. Okay. No, any more mistake. Okay. Yeah. So this is where things get dried. As you can see, it's all uh, in rows here. Quite interesting. Um, and some other things, you know. Rugs, you know, some other larger things get dried over there. Okay, let's check out the... One more there, sir. You can see the iron. All the traditionally iron boxes, it's coal used for that. Okay. Before for ironing, they're for fire. Oh. For the coconut shell. The, oh, for the, for the ironing. Ironing. Okay. It's still used for the old charcoals. They're eco-friendly. Oh, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Actually, for the coconut shell, it's a long-lasting for heat. Okay. So, this is the charcoal. Coconut charcoal. Yeah, yeah. This is the charcoal. This is the coconut shell. Yes. And long lasting and is a long heat. Okay. And when you press, very good. Uh -huh. And eco friendly and save the electricity, save the money. Sure, sure, sure. So this is how the iron, uh, Indian iron works here, uh, ironing. And uh, it's with the uh, burned coconut. Husband is washing. Uh -huh. She is ready to the ironing for the preparation for the charcoal oh, and everything. Okay, okay. And okay. each family each for the showroom also there. Okay, okay, great. And see the number is like that. Yes, yes. And sometimes you know the people are for the farming also. This is tapioca. Oh. <laughs> the tapioca. Yes. The time boss. Uh -huh. And the root is you can use for the tapioca. Okay. <laughs> and banana also there. Yes, yes. So you can have a little snack. Yes. He's, he's basically saying the there's time, time tapioca, bar. there's banana, so... The plain green uh, tree, see, like an umbrella. <laughs> yes, yes. So if somebody gets hungry, when those bananas get ripe, they can have some lunch. <coughs> I would say so far so good. Good tour. Good tour. <laughs> Jax, you see, this is only sample. Okay. Not enough for three hours. Maybe tomorrow you also you come in to call me. Definitely. Yeah, possibly. And this is uh, ironing area? Yes. Okay. Oh, here we go. We can see this guy. This guy's using a uh, uh, electricity iron. Electricity. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? Fine. This is looking very nice. Very, very clean. Nice, very clean. Good job. I think it's a politician dress, white. Okay. You see? Yes. Yes. What a perfect iron over there. Look at this. Perfect shirt. How many years have you been washing clothes? I throw in. Forty-six years. Forty-six Six. years. Wow. Total one eighty family. One hundred eighty family working together. One under the under the umbrella. One hundred and eighty families Both working here. Some Tamil here. Nadu people in settled in Kochi. Okay. Okay. One hundred eighty family. And he, and he's doing a family business. Yeah, family business. Uh. Independent job. Yes. Okay. Good. Like a tuk tuk. Yes. Not a salary. 
No bus. Not a duty tag. Okay, no bus. Okay. I am my boss. Oh. All the people are boss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Not a physical job. Uh, yes, so yes. So rain, rainy season. Yes. It's used for the hydraulic dryer. Okay. Because I was you know monsoon. Yes. Monsoon very difficult for Kerala. Yeah. Three two months they be rain. So that time used for the hydraulic dryer and hanging on okay. under the shed also. Okay. Okay. I was wondering what these are for. So uh, Joseph was just telling me this is for the rainy season. Uh, these are dryers. They run off electricity, obviously, and then also up here. Uh, people can dry because when the monsoons come, believe me, if you've ever seen a monsoon, it is like uh, for the peak season for the monsoon. It, it gets very it's wet. Bad for us also. Yeah, very. Oh, right, bad for Tik Toks also, right? Yeah. Okay, cello to the next place. Yeah, thank you. Sir. Okay. We're about to leave, and Joseph is picking something off. What of the, is this? This looks like curry leaf. Absolutely, you have a tundi mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's try this. Yeah. That's curry leaf. I forgot to start this uh, a few minutes ago, but this is, uh, we're 10 minutes in, and this is uh, Joseph Tuk Tuk. So, uh, where to next? For the fish market, local fish market. Okay. Local rain tree. <laughs> oh yeah, local rain tree, yes. So these came from uh, the Amazon jungle. Brazil, Brazil. Brazil. We're 14 minutes into the tour and Joseph has taken me to a secret fishing beach. And this is the new boat launching. Mm. See, the completely for the made by the yeah. different different wood pieces and sit on a coconut coil. Yes, oh yes, yes, yes. So um this new one. For for all of my uh van life the bus life friends, the coconut the coir, coir. coconut coir, coir, is uh, uh what, this, is, this is what you're using to for the for the toilet the, this is being used in in uh, the boat to uh, as caulking boat, yes. uh so this is a brand new fishing boat um so let's go check out how people fish here in kochi kerala india good morning good morning, good morning. any fish today uh, yes many fish okay it is going for the early morning, 2 a.m. Okay. Come back in 7, 6, 30 coming. Not long two, way. 2 a.m. and then... We come back in 7, 6 o'clock. Wow. So everything is done uh, in the dark? Dark, yes. Wow. How do they see if they have fish or anything yeah, in the dark? Fish are my experience. F only experience? De depending on the water, depending on the for the time and tide that okay. is for the experience for the fisherman no 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 headlamp no light no, no. and light sometimes is a headlight also so, okay okay so so a torch so sometimes sometimes these guys have a headlamp or something but otherwise it's done in the dark and if you come and early morning you can see the fishing and people coming to catch fish and separating for the small fish 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 and the auction okay. also you can see the light okay and i'm noticing here there's no 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 uh, motors this one has motor other ones, no, no the motor. motor. Is there in keeping in the house? Otherwise, somebody to take it back. Oh, to <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. So they do have motors, but uh, like we'll walk over to one over here. Joseph, come this way. Um, they, he said they do have motors, but they take it off uh, and they put it in the house just for safekeeping. Yeah. So here's Saint Joseph, Saint Joseph, Anna Maria, Yeshua. So all the name in the Bible names. All Bible names because, because this is a Catholic area. Catholic area. Yes. Okay, so this one's Saint Joseph and some other names. Uh, here's uh, Yeshua. That's uh, Jesus, right? Jesus, yes. Okay, yes. and um, Saint Anna Maria, uh -huh. Saint Joseph. This is Saint Joseph. The yes. Took, took name. Yeah. <laughs> Saint Joseph. Yes. And then this is my Saint Joseph. Joseph. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's the beach here uh, for my surfing experience. I don't know if you guys do this, but I surf my whole life. This is a very uh, kind of calm uh, beach. I can't tell you what's out there, if it's sand or if it's coral or whatever, but I would just guess it's sand, call it a beach break. So as long as the waves uh, are not so big, it should be pretty quick, uh, I would say paddle out or, you know, Early pushing morning, the boat. Many people come swimming over there. And uh, do they use these uh, pieces of wood to push the boat out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So people coming in and push and easy to go for the parking for the boat. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. This uh, is called the uh, Arabian Sea also. Okay, Arabian Sea. And here's some uh, some other fishermen. Yeah, fishermen coming and also the ship channel also there. Big ships going and coming. And, and those look like military ships. Yeah, they're military. Yeah. Okay, you guys probably can't see this on the screen, but... Uh, and also couple... the container ships also there. Yeah, so Kochi is a, a big harbor. Yeah. Uh, and so a lot of uh, commerce is coming in for Kochi the south. Kochi is the first Indian container terminal. 
the first Indian. container terminal 1920. in 1920. Uh, for okay, I didn't know that. 1920 first container terminal, terminal in India. In India, so this is a very important place. Just across the street, we Mac have uh, uh, someone selling the fish. Uh, can you ask him if, if he also fishes? Does he go fishing? No, they're coming to only for the auction to buy over there. Okay, okay. So these guys go to the auction, they buy the fish. This one's mackerel and this one's... Sardines. Sardines. Yes. I love sardines. And for the crab and Crabs. the ribbon fish. Okay, ribbon small, fish. small, tiny missile fish. Okay, and, and uh, the, shrimp and... Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. okay. Nice. Okay, very cool. No use for the eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to India. <laughs> so, so back towards the more touristy area, they have lots of fish also and you can go and you can buy a fish and someone will cook up the fish for you, but we're not interested in seeing the uh, touristy spots. We're interested in seeing more local places. 25 minutes into the tour. Now we are checking out a dried fish uh, place. Uh, I think kind of self-explanatory, uh, lots of salt. Salted fish, because in a long time, you know, use for this salt fish. Uh, and and uh, monsoon season, monsoon you were season. saying you can use again when people are not catching the fish. So, um, this is mackerel, dried mackerel. Dried mackerel. Uh, and for the dry prawns and baby shark. Oh, baby shark. And also salt fish. Uh huh. Okay. Wow, lots of lots of fish. And so, uh, you, you don't eat this out of the bag. You, you put in foods, right? No, no. If you want the, uh, with the chili and coconut fry and everything for chili and everything, onion and everything, like a fry. For cooking? Cooking. Yeah, but not, 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 not like this. Not, not right. No, no, no. Not Chinese. Not Chinese, okay. <laughs> <laughs> which, which I've done that before. I have had dried fish and it's very salty and very fishy. Um, cool. If, you, if you're cooking and uh, very good taste, not like in China. Okay, okay. All right. Now we are going to big, big fish market, local fish market, uh, for okay. fish and beef and chicken and okay. everything. Okay, so local meat market, uh, and we're very close. Very close. Okay, okay. And also the same with another the dried fish. Yes, more dried fish. And for the spinach, red spinach, green spinach, and very fresh vegetables. Okay, okay. So it looks like on this uh, area, hello sir, we have all sorts of uh, vegetables and fruits. And See the tapioca, yes. the sweet potato. Oh, I like sweet potatoes. So uh, this would be the... And see the... She is selling for that. Oh, giant prawns. Yes. yes. King prawns. King prawns. Tiger King prawns. prawns. Tiger uh -huh. prawns. <laughs> oh, here we are. This Hi, is... My friend. This is my friend. Hello. Hello, hello my friend. Hello, my His friend is my friend. Hello. <laughs> okay. And buffalo and beef. Okay. And and everything. Now, um, the buffalo is one with the large, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, large horns. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's uh, let's let's walk around. Uh, so this looks like some liver. Uh, do you know if this is beef or buffalo or? It's buffalo. Buffalo. You, you can tell just by the look. Because of the white. Oh, the fat. White fat. Okay. And the yellow fat is beef. Oh, yellow fat is beef. Okay. So white fat, uh, buffalo, yellow fat, beef. So all right, cello. And this is the backwater beef. Oh, backwater fish. The okay. Sport, very famous in India. Okay, okay. In Kerala, very tasty. And with the banana leaf, with this, the polyjuice, very good. This one almost looks like perch. I don't know what this one's called, but uh, this is a... Black snapper. The backwater fish is kind of a brackish uh, saltwater, freshwater mix, I think. Crabs. Crabs, squid, shrimps. Now, we go to the Christian community for the fasting before Easter. That's why many, not many fishermen. Okay, okay. See. The sea is every every day coming into the shell meats. Oh yes. Oh yeah. So she she took the, the yeah. meat out of the shell. Yeah, shell and meat. The, uh, these are barnacles. Mon yes. Barnacles. And see the mullet over there. And catfish. Mullet. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Beautiful. Snapper. Snapper. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh wow! Wow. Nice fish. Tuna. All sorts of fish. I, I don't know the names, but yeah. Yeah, the tiger fish. Oh, tiger fish? Like a tiger. Okay. <laughs> Looks more like cheetah. Ah, and see the baby shark. Oh my gosh. Very fresh. Wow, even with the hook still. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and tuna. Oh. This tuna. is a tuna guy. Yes. And yeah. kingfish also there. Okay, okay. Hello. Hello, hello. He's a very famous Nonsense. man. Okay, okay. Nice to make it morning. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Yes. My name is Abdel Nazir. Okay, nice. okay. Nice fish. Nice. In the middle, my friend, Maj Majid. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it's more of the same, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the flatfish. Oh, flatfish. oh, the flatfish, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if it's halibut, no, probably not halibut, but yeah, another shark. Yeah, yeah. Baby shark, do 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 do. Muru, muru head. Uh, grouper. Yeah, grouper. Uh, okay. Uh huh. All sorts of fish. And they use everything. Uh, look, this is um, uh, the organs. Egg. Is it egg sac? Eggs. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And how much? How much? How much is something like this per kilo? Your price, not my price. Six hundred rupees. Six hundred rupees. Okay. Okay. Per for a kilo. Per kilo. So so. Per kg. So if you hold in four kg, this will be thousand seven hundred rupees. Yeah. So so for uh, two pounds, it's about seven dollars more or less. I'd say that's a pretty good price. And if somebody wants to clean and cutting, he's doing for the business. Okay, okay. Uh, and how much does he uh, charge and for cleaning? Below 50 rupees. Okay, like this, for okay. cutting and cleaning and everything. So uh, it's like a slice, like this. Yeah. So 60 cents, two pounds. He'll cut and clean everything. Okay, Thank okay. You. Nice hat, U.S. mail. <laughs> okay. So that's the fish side. This is the meat side. Surf and now turf. Yes. Hello. And this is also buffalo. Okay, buffalo meat. And this is the call. <laughs> Young beef, very small, tiny beef. Uh, goat. He's, he's my classmate too. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hi. Okay. His son was working in uh, studying in the UK. Oh, okay, very good. You must be very proud. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and uh, uh, pork or? No, no. This is for the call. Oh, calf. Oh, baby cow. A baby cow. Okay, okay. And very tasty, good for the biryani. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. And good for the cholesterol. No food, no high cholesterol. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is more the uh, turf area. Mutton. Hello. Oh, mutton. Mutton. Uh -huh. And this is a uh, stomach. Stomach, stomach. Stomach, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yes. The two day special. Oh, yeah, two day. Two day, two day for the cut. <laughs> two special. Yes. Oh. Uh. Okay, thank you, thank you. Waste. Uh, waste. Uh, uh, this is no, no, but they give to the for the farm, for the pork, for, oh. for, for the and also for the fertilizer also. Oh, fertilizer and the farmers do they Farmer, eat? Yeah, yeah. No, they for making for the farming area. Oh, okay, okay. So th this this is the waste. This gets reused for uh, fertilizer for the, and for the, for the farming, farms and yeah. Okay, okay. So every everything is used. Yes. Okay. Recycling, recycling. Recycling. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. And the, the and is there many dogs that come in here to eat? But that experience. They're always eating, no? Yeah. <laughs> it's enough for that. Oh, yeah, this must be the... the cats, yes. Must be fat cats around here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what what is this uh, uh, called here? Because they, this the, is... This is the belong by the Cochin Corporation, Pola Condom Market. Pola Condom Market. Pola yes, yes. Okay. This Pola. is a local market. Local market, okay. This is Chinese potato. This is Chinese potato. Oh, okay. And Chinese this potato. Elephant yam. Wow. Elephant yam, yes. Wow, wow. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> nice looking vegetables. And uh, let's ask him how much for one pineapple? The penny, three pineapple a kilo. One, 70 rupees one kilo. Okay. So, so that's what so that's one dollar. Yes, one dollar. Good price. Yes. Thank you, sir. We're taking a little pit stop for some gasoline. I just want to thank the people who have, uh, I don't know how you guys do this, but people keep sending me money. And I've also, uh, I've had so much, so many years off of YouTube. A lot of things have changed. There's also a membership thing I'm trying to work on. So thank you guys for that. I also have, you know, other ways to, to help contribute if you would like to. So um, I don't have a list in front of me of, of who already paid, but I was absolutely shocked when I put the first video up of, uh, you know, kind of what happened to me and everything and um, I, I, I was so touched so I just want to say thank you guys so much for that. All right we're taking a little uh, gas break we got uh, our man Joseph over here. For the village. <laughs> this is how he fills up his uh, tuk-tuk with a water bottle. Um, that area no more uh, petrol pumps so sometimes you know not enough for petrol. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, 50 minutes into the tour and Joseph is showing me a small fish farm. Uh, so it's netted off. This uh, is this is connected to the ocean, right? Ocean, yes. Part of the backwater, backwater. So it's salt water, and so there's fish in here. And just uh, on the other so the, side, the crab also, crab farming, fish farming, prawns. Okay. Different different farm also that each okay. each season. Okay, great. So this is part of the backwater. Joseph was saying people play uh, football, uh, this is soccer, football over event there for the event also are in events. Hotel and it's all connected the party party for that the birthday party some uh, festival for conducting that also there okay so for events and things like this this is uh, our, our tuk tuk we stopped on the side of the road the, the backwaters. these are some of the mangroves and uh there's other like backwater tools you can do with uh, kayaks and everything but it's small oh yeah the small boats i i, I missed that there's a sunken one over there um but uh and here is a fishing area so this is a very traditional South Indian fishing. This is where, just like the touristy area, they're catching the fish. And these are the single men using Chinese fishing nets. Oh, these are the Chinese fishing nets. Okay. The family, family, each family each net is there. Okay, so each family has a, uh, a pier, a net, and uh, back in Fort Kochi in the tourist area, they, they let tourists come down and operate the nets and they sell and fish and everything. This is also some, some particular fish farming in a particular area okay okay you, so the small babies in Sedna after six months the big size of the fish yeah farm. okay okay so you can't see right now because the net's not on there but it, uh geez further down there just take my word there's a net and, and they basically they dip down and then they scoop up all the fish and the catch fish that is the area for the sorting, the small fish, prawns, and separating okay. for that. Okay, okay, so there's the security guys and some of the uh, fishing... The small, small uh, fish farm. Small fish farms. We don't know what's in there, obviously. For the harvesting. Yes. This is the sorting for the catch fish also. Okay, okay. All right, so... And used to very fresh. Yes, very, very fresh, fresh, very yes, fresh spawns and sorting. Hello. Still alive, moving around. See? <laughs> yes. The big one tiger prawns also there. Oh yeah. Oh wow. So many. And, and do, they, do, uh, do these come from these? Uh, the farming. These uh, farming. Yeah. Okay. This is the one near corn patch. This is the, the people do for the farm. Okay, okay, okay. So if anyone says, oh, there's overfishing, these all come from the nets. And also the people are fishing also. Okay, for okay. The, today's special. Yeah, today. <laughs> and see the small uh, Chinese, only single people using the nets. Okay, okay. And the okay. night time, they put in the down. Uh -huh. The morning they're taking, then after use for the home family. Oh, use for okay, that. okay, okay, okay. Somehow my my timer got messed up, but we're one hour into the tour, and now we are at Saint Joseph Church. Saint Joseph Church, and the, you're saying celebrating for the feast of Saint Joseph. Okay, big feast on the 19th of March, and this is uh, part of the food preparation area. Uh, these big uh, cauldrons. Vessel for the old traditionally vessel for making for the rice okay. and pudding and everything. Yes, yes, and, uh, and the plenty of coconut given for the donation for the festival. Oh, okay, okay. And this is uh, for food uh, and also vegetable, vegetable, vegetable food. Okay, food. okay, okay. And for the way of the stock for the water and everything. Oh, okay, the black tanks for water. And people eat inside? Yeah, inside and for the buffet on both sides also. Okay, let me see inside. And, and how, how many people come? More than 10,000 people. 10,000 people? Yes. Wow, wow, 10,000 people in one day. Hello? Wow. Oh. <laughs> so uh, Joseph was saying that uh, all the local churches around here, they all come to this one spot, have a big feast and celebrate. And there's some uh, decorations already going on uh, down the street for the upcoming celebration. Everybody big celebration for St. Joseph feast. Okay. 
left of the secret part of Kochi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so a lot of fishermen sitting, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> Something in drinking. And the car is the car. Only sitting only, not cleaning next. Oh nothing. yes, yes, just sitting, talking, yeah. relaxing. Sometimes you can see all the fishermen. This is no one is coming here. This okay. is only for Joseph. Okay. <laughs> so this is the uh, again con continuing on with the local tour. We're coming yeah, to visit. The fishermen waiting shirt and cleaning and wash up and everything is going. On. Okay, we're coming to visit the local fishermen. They're 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 going to be. Uh... <laughs> or... After the work, they're going for the home. Okay. Good. Otherwise, they're sitting, cleaning and everything like. This and all after the early morning, then going to catch fish. Also. Yes, yes. Uh, do, do they uh, do they uh, clean the net every day after fishing? Every day, sometimes you know they broken the net. They will stitch it on again. Okay, on. okay, okay. So so first they go fish, then they come back, uh, and then uh, they take the on. fish out, and then they're repairing the the net. After and, that, blah blah blah. <laughs> and then after that, they're they're sitting and talking, and yes. Uh, who 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 caught the the most fish today? Huh? Who? Uh, which one? No, don't know. <laughs> uh, we are not from here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Okay, okay. And sometimes, you know, this is for the oil. After the fishing, weekly, one month, we could have side in oil. Okay. Good for the boat. The waterproof, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm guessing it's some kind of tar, uh, some very dark oil they put on here. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Joseph. Good job because you know why it's a good job. I haven't seen one other foreigner the whole the whole time. Maybe one in the laundry, but but this is uh, yeah, I'm the only one here. Here's each piece stitched on a coconut coil. Oh yeah, yeah. Not one single piece. The each piece by and made by the jackfruit tree. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the jack jackfruit, jackfruit yes. uh, wood. That is easy to bend than like that. Otherwise, very difficult. Yes, yes. Hardwood would be very, very difficult, very hard so also. So before we coming that way, see? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh-huh. And some people are fishing over there also in the, the yeah. side. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Many, many, many people yeah, fishing. People fishing also. Yeah, you, there's boats everywhere. It's amazing that people can, can catch so many fish. Uh, you would think with so many people fishing, there would be no fish left. Fisherman. Yeah, fishermen. Yes. Relaxing. Relaxing. Hello. And so he's uh, the cleaning, cleaning the, the net. The broken net is stitched again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. In 2004, the tsunami coming all over the world. In this time, here also small effect. Oh, a little bit. Just waves coming. Some oh. water coming now. Some house is a little bit uh, damaged. Also. Oh, okay, but, but not, not not bad. Nobody died. Just just waves coming. Okay. That's why Fort Kochi Beach is very shorter. Okay. Okay. Before the beach, half kilometer for Long Beach in oh. Fort Kochi. Yes. Oh wow 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 interesting. Yeah. So you're saying yeah tsunami came, water came up, yeah. crossed over here, did little damage. The only damage, little bit only. Yeah. And uh, my father said that before olden time, people walking in the coastal area to Alapi. Okay. By, by walking the on the beach, sand. In the sand. Oh. But nowadays people making houses and buildings. Okay. Okay. That. Yes. 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 Wow. Wow. Yeah. I was also asking him if anyone surfs and yeah, people don't really go in the water too much. You know, the There's... tourist people stay over there. That is homestay also. Oh, homestay here. Yeah, okay. Some people coming from and going as so many many years before. Okay. Okay. Depending on the crazy people, touristy people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's not common for bikinis, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, it's uh, good. Yeah, but Indians, Indians. Uh, no bikinis. No, no. No, okay. It's not common, and people don't want more uh, sun, right? Yes. They already have a uh, tan. Yes. Okay. So yeah, it's not much uh, beach culture besides fishing and. Uh, and the resting place, the playing cards. Playing cards, relaxing after after fishing. Yep. Okay, all this fun. We've uh, we've only used one hour and a half. We still have one and a half more hours to go and we're seeing so many things. This is uh, totally action-packed. I, I messed up my timer, so I'm just going off the clock. Started at 11, it's now 12.30. And we have more things to see. Yes, 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 <laughs> more things. <laughs> Not enough for three hours. <laughs> Not enough for one day. Oh, no, no, no. If you have a time for tomorrow, if you want to. I don't want coaching. If you want to see the reality of coaching, I will show you nice things. Okay, again. okay. 
All right, uh, I'm being told this is the new seawall for any monsoons that come um, uh, or, you know, tsunamis, monsoon season, big waves. So uh, you, you were saying that the people sleep good now, right? Yeah, now is a good for sleeping last two years. Yeah, okay. Before all the monsoon, people very difficult. They're going for the churches and some other area to shift it on the houses. Okay. Okay, thank you, Joseph. Banana is included on the trip, yes? Yeah, that, that's free for you. <laughs> Okay, let's try. Okay, you like? Because this climate is very good, mm. this banana. This is very good. It's a little tangy. It's a local, local one. Mm. Very good banana. A tiny banana is butter banana. Mm. In the US, we only have one type of banana. They're very boring. They all taste the same. Not, not very sweet. That's why Kerala is called goat's own country. Mm. That's mm. why your present is coming every time. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Okay. Wooden boat also. This is fiber boat. Oh, so this is the boat factory. Yes. Okay, so we're one hour and 50 this minutes into the tour. This and is we're... a fiber one. Fiberglass. Yeah, fiberglass. Okay. Yes. Hello. C can you make me surfboard? Sur surfboard. Surfing? No, no, no surfboard. No one use for that. Okay. <laughs> Only fishermen take this one. Uh huh. Fishing boat. Fishing boat. Fishing boat. Yes. Good job. Okay. Uh, do they make wood here also? Yes. Okay. And this is a big boat also. <clears throat> okay, so. If you didn't get the memo already, we're at a boat making factory uh, south of uh, Kochi, Fort Kochi area. We saw the fiberglass area first. And wh uh, what kind of wood is this, Joseph? It's jackfruit. 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 Yes. All right. So any vegans are watching, you know, uh, jackfruit. This is the wood from the jackfruit. So it's more uh, bendy. This boat, the fisherman is around 40 people. This one, 40? The big old, bigger nets with the mission. Okay, okay. And how, how much is, is uh, this big boat? Under uh, 10, under 1,000 rupees. Huh, what, 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to convert that on the screen. Uh, but I think that's... Uh, uh, 10 under 1,000. 10 under 1,000. One... So 1 million? Oh, yes. 1 lakh okay. is under 1,000. 1 lakh, okay. So that's 1 million. So divided by 80, uh, that's how much that costs. I'll put that on the screen. Wow. And after uh, they make like this, uh, do they put uh, resin? Yeah, resin. Yes. Resin, uh-huh. No, no oil, like the small one. oil is the small one. Oil the small one, okay. It's also there. Okay, so oil, oil and um, uh, coconut, small one. Cornwall, yes. And resin yes. on the big one. Big one, yes. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, it's very hard so and then they make it waterproof wow look at how big this thing is and uh, this one also same price 10 10 yeah, lakhs yes maybe it will be changed i don't know depending sure. on the uh-huh and uh they, they they put motor here yeah motor motor yes. okay motor and for the nets machine oh the, and the nets come through here to throw and uh, not even for, for making for the 10 people or okay. 20 people okay okay interesting well, if you guys have ever wondered what a boat factory in India looks like, boat making center in Kochi. This one here is a big, big place. Okay, this is this and the is main the main man is not there. He does speak English also. He's oh, okay. not there. sure, I understand. The son was in a boat working over there. Okay, okay. Wow, Japan. interesting, interesting. Son was working in Japan. Okay, doing boats. Wow, wow. So, in case anybody's in the market for a boat, you know where to go. If you want to buy one for you. Okay, this is the place to go. All right, hang on. Let's see how much time we have left. We are two hours into the tour. And this is a place where they're making small boats, yes? Okay. Jackfruit also. And uh, how, how much is one boat? This is 35,000 rupees. 35,000 rupees. Yes. Okay. So uh, 35,000 rupees, that's about maybe... 450 US, US dollar, yeah. something like that. Yeah, okay. So under $500. Very cheap. Yes, very nice. Very nice. 
and we always the well, all the making boat yard nearby the canal okay uh -huh. the canal is easy and people going by boat by sea also okay okay and some people bring it for the truck also yes how many years is the boat good uh, lasting yeah uh, how, how long does it last uh, more than five years Five, five years. Five years. Okay. okay. Daily using, you know, the fisherman. Yes. Not like a, to, like you. Uh -huh. and he just can use long time. Yeah. The fisherman okay. used every day will be five years. Yeah. So five years. Uh, the profit will be coming. So after four. Five years. Small repair. Maintenance. Small repairs. Uh, uh, and you can use it. And keep you can keep using it. Also. So uh, what's the most amount of years for for and one boat? Uh, 10, 10, 15 years. 10. The repairing, re recycling. Yes. And yes. Okay. I think. I think proper maintenance. Proper maintenance. Yes. Yeah. After the fisherman, the, the, for the sand in oil and maintenance. And yes. And how many years have you been making boats? I have been making boats for my small time. Childhood time start. Okay. My father is now. Uh, grandfather, yeah, father, business, family business, family business, yes, yes. My generation to generation. Okay, so. Grandfather, okay. Father, grandfather, great grandfather, and many, and many years. That may be your generation, and we never know. <laughs> and uh, sa same technique for uh, you, father, grandfather. Yeah, maybe same technique. More than now, more uh, missionary. Before I'm uh, making, now he's making for the Polish and every machine. Machine, yes. Yeah. Very easy. Yes. Before, very, very hard. Yes, yes, yes. More time. More time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh huh. Look at this thing. So we're at the next destination, and uh, I decided to pull over real quick because this is not something you see every day. This is like a boat temple. Um, so a lot of these guys, obviously, we've seen are fishermen and very re religious, so it makes sense to uh, combine the two things and uh, to make a boat temple by the beach. Look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go see um, all the boats because that's, that's why we're here. Okay, two hours and five minutes into the tour. Where are we? This is a fishing harbor. Okay, fishing and, harbor. Yeah, now also for the, they're repairing also some boats. Okay. And this is the option for the fishing. Okay, but brilliant. Now, not good time for the fish. Yes, yes. So these you gentlemen, the these gentlemen are doing some repairs to the boat. You you would? For the fishing no. No business for the No, no fish. Okay. <laughs> repair, 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 yes. Good job. <laughs> so today, no more good left for the people. Okay, so today's not the, the greatest fishing day. Is that because of the wind? Yeah, because of uh, the hot also. Oh, the heat. Okay, okay. So as you can see, there are hundreds of boats. And Joseph was saying that this is the fish market area, auction area. Fishing. Harbor. Harbor. Oh, so so people the fish do they here, do yes. they sell the fish here? Uh, sell it every day. Okay, big, so big, big, people coming to buy and sell it all. Okay, so so they go obviously and they catch the fish. They come back yep. and then they sell the fish here. Hello. No, 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 no. So one month they're not getting good business or so no one is going there. Oh, nobody's fishing? Yeah, because oh, okay. one month almost. Okay, okay, okay. That's why the people are doing for the repairing. repairing nets and boats and... Okay, so for, for whatever reason this is the, the slow time and uh, people are just, you know, repairing their nets and boats and uh, kind of relaxing. But it's very interesting. Why, why are all of the boats blue and orange? That is the people like just, that. Just a style. I don't know. And then in love order in room or new technology. Ah, this is the law of Indian uh, oh, law of law India. Of, oh, the, India. The color of the uniform. Oh okay, okay, very good, very good. So as you heard, it's the uh, regulation 
is uh, you want to have a commercial fishing boat in India. Thing better be blue with some orange trim. No, no, when was the last time he caught fish? Last time he caught went fishing. Last time, one month before. One month before. One month. One month. And when is the next time he's going? Next time going next December. December. Continuous at If you good business after two months. In two months. Okay. Okay. So after monsoon. Okay, no, no, no. Before, Before monsoon. Before monsoon. And um, how much money can he make one day of fishing? Depending on the catch fish, we never know how, to, how many get. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, different. Sometimes it's snapper, sometimes it's sardine, sometimes it's nothing. Okay. Like me, I am tuk tuk driver. Yeah. Three, four days I don't get it. Today I okay. got a snapper. <laughs> <laughs> or tuna. <laughs> no tuna, you are snapper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always expect this good. Okay, okay. So obviously with anything, you know, just like me when I go fishing, sometimes you catch something, sometimes you don't. Okay. And uh, what's the name of this place, uh, Joseph? This is uh, Chellanam. Chellanam. Chellanam is a very good uh, fisherman area. The main people are business job, fishing job. Okay, okay. So this area, no fish, no good this area. Okay, okay, okay. And and uh, many, many men are fishermen in the this main, area? Mainly for the men, for the fishermen. Man. Okay. Each house, one fisherman is there. This location. Okay. Okay. So this is a fishing community. Fishing community. Yes. Okay. So mostly for the Catholic community. Okay. 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 Okay, sir. Okay. Beautiful boat. Yes. Oh. Okay. I think you said fifteen. 15 guys work this so this is where they obviously pull up the, the net and uh, I don't know they, they probably store all the fish in the same area back part for the motor <laughs> okay okay we're back three hour tour like Gilligan's Island thank you so much Joseph very good tour See you again yes I'll put his information down below and also uh, uh, like I said, this is about ten dollars. Uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, one thousand rupees, so it's I don't, uh, technically twelve dollars. But here, here's a little bit extra. Thank you. Uh, well, I gave him some money before, but uh, for gasoline. But thank you so much, and maybe we'll do another one. Sure. And okay. Tomorrow, if you're not coming for ten thirty, yes, nine thirty is the best time. Okay. Okay. And you can eat breakfast together for the local restaurant. Okay. And that is in the symbol restaurant. You can come up for that. Okay, we, we, we'll message each other. That is I buy for you, not for you. Oh. That is I bring the eat. Okay, okay. And after finally, one cup for tea with my family. Okay, okay. okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Wonderful tour. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye.